Hey there, everybody. Thet here. And welcome back to Thet Plays Rim World 1.0. We're shipping. We're handling. We're moving stuff to and from the ships. Yes, we're moving stuff to and from the ships. We're bringing down some empty space. We're going to load it up with some full space. I don't know what that means, but let's go with it for now. Anyway, got some more lads over here in Fort Django. Got some lads over here in La Ragamuffin. Um, how did this happen? Uh, can you please set this up? I actually didn't mean to have it um, like this. This was an accident. Yeah, that was a... Uh, it was definitely an accident. Transport pods have arrived. Well, bam. Unhover. All right, so we're gonna load this up with some stuff, and we are bringing some healings, healing items over here, as well. I'm waiting for the nanites bank to get loaded, and we'll ship that over to Fort Django to make these dudes feel better. This will be good, yes. Apparently they also have to chase it down. It's alright. It's perfectly fine. We also have some big guns to play around with. Uh, one of the Architect Mechanite storages is done. Let's go ahead and just make a order to put that in Thet 11. I'm sorry, Thet 11. We can paint the frames now, too. Very swoop. Give me a nice green for that 11. Do that, and then go ahead and install that uh, architect storage. You know what? Might as well give them an architect power converter as well. Sure. Apparently, you can overclock these boys, which is good to know. All right, go ahead and help me out here, Dirk. All right, we also need a new frame for Alex Theo Gray. So let's go ahead and have a Mechanite storage put in you. And let's go have you lay down until we get that put in. Stop in the name of love in the law. All right, so that 11 is now green. As you can see, it's a darker green than I thought it'd be. I wonder if we have like a, like a, nope, we don't have anything more or less green than that, huh? Yeah, all right, that's fine, I guess. We could also overclock ourselves and remove our own, I don't know how removing self will would work on that, but okay. Let's try to overclocking, sure. Uh, ripple. Um, going right for the power converter. Very cool. Transport pods loaded. Let's go ahead and launch that over to Fort Django. There we go. Big T needs an upgrade. He will have an upgrade. Actually, it's everyone around Big T who needs those upgrades. But that's not here nor there. Okay, now we're going to go for the overclock. Yeah, I don't know if we needed the power converter or not, but... He eh, gets hungry more slowly. That's a good thing, yeah? Why wouldn't it be? Alright. Doop, boop, 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 doop, 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 doop. Overclocked. Cool. Consciousness plus 20%, global work speed plus, mental break threshold plus, but, you know, I'm feeling good. Need material. Wait. Here we go. Need material. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to wait until someone moves that somewhere. Cargo pods landing in Mikroton. Outside of the wall, one pod. What you got for me? 
Well, come on. Tacos! It's a taco pod. Sweet. Gotta love it, I guess. All right, drop these things like they're hot. Whenever you're ready, there they go. What the hell was that? What the hell blew up here? Did it, cause it went over the generator, I guess? <sighs> the generators are starting to be a bigger problem than they're worth. Uh, that said, I don't know. Big T is the one that needs the, yeah, for the weak valves. Uh, how do we install that? How do you, how do you install these? Aha. Use this to fix apparently age issues is the way they're putting it. <gasps> okay. Whatever you say, just <laughs> inhale your nanites, enragement child. All right, just wait for them to go pick it up. We got time. And then up into the sky they'll go. Along with Alex Theo Gray. Okay, they're, are we ready to uh, use that material yet? Nope, not yet. Battery's full, though. That's good. Alright, how are you feeling now, Big T? Okay, still says we have weak valves, but maybe it's going down now. I don't know. I just, I, I just do not know. Okay, where is that freaking... Yo. What? No, oh, maybe we don't have any repair kits. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Dirk chopping up some mechanites. Or mechanoids, I should say. Uh, repair kits. I didn't even think about this. Um, Android repair kits, of course. Oh, there's already an order for it. Hudder. And he's still disassembling mechanoids, so I guess he'll keep doing that for now. I mean, we got plenty to go. That's a lot of free plasteel sitting down here. I love it. So yeah, it does mean it'll take Theo Gray longer to heal. Which is, I guess, just the cost of doing business there at this point. That's alright. Sylvia is fueling up our cargo shuttle here. I appreciate that level of support. Uh, we have a couple of points here to give away. Yo, can you like automatically connect from now on? To Skymine? You should always be connected here. That Levin. Alright. Just saying. Theo Gray, you should probably always be connected too. So how come... How come I was able to have you connect earlier to uh, up your skills, but now I can't? Is it because you're down? I don't know. Either way, I could give Alex Theo Gray more skills. We could probably use some more melee on him. And since it's so expensive to give him any skills anyway, we might as well just dump that point in now. Yeah, we're going to need more of these. Lots more of those. Sometime here in the near. All right, Dirk, this is still your mission? Yep. It's a good one. I'm not complaining. Like I said, a bunch of extra steel. We've already got 500 steel and oh, about over 200. Oh, we've gotten a lot of plasteel out of this then. Yeah, never mind. We've gotten a ton of plasteel out of this. Uh, look, they're talking about sky mines. Don't talk about me. Who is starving? Thet is starving. We'll eat some food, Thet. Why would you be starving right now? Are you stuck on... Eh, I better check that, actually, because he might. Are you stuck on uh, using electricity? Doesn't look like it. Alright, on draft, everyone. What's with this vision mouse? Get it out of here. Uh, someone dropped some food? Oh, you're carrying food. Eat the pemmican you're carrying. Not the hand cannon, the pemmican.
Or don't, I guess. I don't know, man. Why is it refusing to eat? Reconnect. Oh boy, we can paint it too. I don't know, man. There's something very weird about these these mechs here. That said, we do have a better gun for them now. Who's carrying that? Frederick. Oh, baby. Look at that weapon. Let's see it. Yeah, okay. Three slightly big shots. Mm, kind of neat. All right, form back up. I don't know why you're not eating, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Pick up everything. Keep it going. Uh, we are heading in this direction, so we're going to run past Ravager Field and destroy it. If possible. If not, then I guess we won't destroy it. Just kind of how it works, you know? Now, I've heard theories that there's something else we can build. I don't know where you'd build it off the top of my head. Probably... Probably here? At the machining table? Or, no, no, no. Probably more likely at the fabrication bench. Let me look around here. EMP launchers, EVA suits. Which we're going to have to remember to set up in the space, of course. Uh, no, not here. So, yeah, I was probably wrong that it is in the implants. Uh, VX30, aha, RX Neural Chip. It is a chip that acts as a personal SkyMind relay. Holy crap, you can make artificial brains now? What? Uh, <laughs> so if you put an RX chip in a bot, it will never receive that low signal because it, it, it has a relay built into it. So we're going to have to be building a lot of these soon. What is this for? Transform a surrogate into a blank neural network android. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Nifty. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure the, the M7s are worth that much at this point. They could be. But they don't seem to be. Not so far, just because they're kind of dumb. <laughs> like, they kind of don't know what they're doing exactly. Alex Theo Gray. How you doing? He's still pretty hurt. Nice cuisine implant, by the way. Big T working over here. Making us more Eva suits. Much appreciated. Big Dirk over here. Can you, uh, keep working here? Still disassembling mechanoids? I get that, I do. But, uh, it's something that's very important needs to be done. By the way, you left 69 mechanoid, mechanoid parts, excuse me, lying on the ground. Nice. Very nice. But yeah, keep, keep tearing up these mechanoids, dude. I'm appreciating it. Trust me. Ah, right, this is where you can up your own skills. Yeah. So we can give primary Thet, eventually, when we have enough skills. We can give primary Thet as many skill points as we want. So these are used to hack enemy androids that come our way. And this is used to protect us from enemy hacks. I think these are pointless. I'm actually going to go ahead and just deconstruct them. Ooh, we met a caravan. The beginning of Eberron. How you guys doing? And nice animals. I see that it is a farming goods trader, so it makes sense that you have a lot of nice animals. Uh, nothing we would trade, though. So, nice meeting you. See you in the next, you know, 
life. I'm going to deconstruct all of these. I'm going to replace them and this these wall segments here. I'm going to replace all of those with skill ones so that we can up skill levels even further. Just all the skill levels, dude. In fact, I'm tempted to... I'm tempted to say why do we have these walls in the first place at this point? And just build an entire group of just skill ones. Yeah, in fact... Probably gonna go even further. Take out these walls here instead. And then... Seal up the sides here. And this will just be our server room. Because then I can put in a couple more security ones too. Alright. Wheatley, Augusto, and Apples. Oh my. I don't know why you got deconstructed, but... Uh, up in the space you go. Enjoy! I think I was going to send you over to Fort Django to pick up more stuff, but whatever. All right, first things first, I'm a craftsman. Remodeling is my only passion, and we're gonna remodel by putting in some titanium-shaped plates. Beautify me, Captain. All right, do that. Slap down some more reinforced walls here and here. We're good on titanium still, right? I mean, we have enough to finish that project, at least. And then once that's done, more servers. And then way more servers. No! Your boys goofed it. Alright, cancel that. There we go. Okay, orders are up. Get moving, my lads. Once all the flooring's put in, we'll build the other, you know, six as well. But I think the layout, this layout's a lot better anyway. It works. It's just the big old server room. Protected by a decent amount of precision turrets. And, you know, a nuke shooter over here. Which is nice. Okay. So... Question. Okay, we can connect you to SkyMine, but we can't connect someone to you. Well, wait, wait, maybe we can. Maybe we have to go over here to do it first. I don't remember for sure. Connect that one. This map. Here. Okay, we can do that and set a force target. Good. I can have it shoot wherever I want it to. That should not be power I have, but it is power I have. So, <laughs> bring it. I will launch all the nukes at your asses. Speaking of all the nukes, one day and six hours before the plutonium processor is done. Dirk, how's it coming over here? Still working on disassembling. Cool. Augusto and Wheatley, welcome to space, my dudes. I know it's cold in this room. You don't have to stay in here. Augusto is thrilled about space. He thinks it's so cool. He's not leaving any family behind, so he's a good person to bring in. He has a neural chip in case we need it. Wheatley, what do you think? You're an intelligent psychopath who hates women. Uh, I don't know what that has to do with space, but that's just the facts, man. Uh, he also loves space. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and drop all of the uh, fruits and put them in here and we have food for days. Fan freaking tastic. All right, back here. You know, it doesn't actually tell us how many days worth of food we have in space, but it does tell us we have low food. In space, I assume it just means there. Because it's not like we have low food everywhere. Oh, hell no, we don't. Anyway. He's getting put up. Let's 
pretty great. Big T helping out. Uh, what is this? What what is this? I'm actually insulted. But yeah, if we can get like a couple more of these, and just make it where I can fire on whoever I want, that is. Ooh, that's spicy. That is a very spicy level of good. This thing requires 13,000 power. It does require more power the more uh, mines you have put into it. So it makes sense that it's fairly power hungry right now. Also makes sense that we can, you know, with the amount of power that it gives us to throw cruise missiles wherever we want. I suppose that makes some sense. I do wish that I could, like, connect to the sack and then consider it in use. But, alas, it is not a valid device. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we can have those, like, integrated. That would be an awesome mod integration. If we could make that happen. Can you, like, connect anywhere closer? To where, like, it doesn't look like you have a whole bunch of wires running underneath? be nice. Yeah, it looks... Looks a lot better. A couple of them are still kind of wonky, but... Oh, there you go. That helped. Small ruins nearby? Don't worry about it. We're not busting our butts over ruins right now, okay? I think this one's already, like, the best one it can get to, so whatever. Either way... Gonna be storing a lot more skill points here in a little bit. And then, of course, I'm just going to give myself a 20 and everything. Because I like to be an overpowered little punk. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Changes are happening. We're back to five people on the ship. It's going to increase to eight once the, the other bot boys go back up. Uh, Thet 11 is almost fully healed. Apples are being moved in. We no longer have a low food situation, which is good. For some reason, my bot is still starving. I don't understand. I'm about ready to pull my bot... Pull my body out of that bot and just make myself another tier 4. With, like, top stats. Yo. Could we capture a tier 5 and take over its brain? I wonder. Because, like... Now, for example, if I go to Riley and I connect you to SkyMind, you can be uploaded. Can I download to you? Come here. Okay. Connect. That 15? Ragamuffin. No. Or if I can, not that easily. Although other bots do have other abilities on the sky mind, I think. Tier 2. Tier 2. Okay, maybe not that easily. Operations. Overclock, remove self-will. Paint. Hmm. Android parts. Got those resurrector kits. Hearing, we got sensors. Implants. Neuros. The RX chip, which is a SkyMind relay. Biological. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like there's anything that could let us control regular... Regular droids. We do have, however, a lump of compla compacted plasteel sitting right outside Microton. How lovely. That could be an easy pickup for uh, Dirk. In fact, Dirk, let's go ahead and grab it. Dirk, my dude, go ahead and load yourself up. 
Thanks for grabbing all the, uh... Oh, yeah, we're up to 2,000 Plasteel now. Hallelujah for the Mechanoid Raid. I guess we gotta summon ourselves some more of those, huh? Alright, Dirk's ready to go. Launch him. Uh, drop right in the center. There's some sleeping mechanoids at the steel over here. This is an outpost? Oh, maybe dropping in the center was not the best move. Wait! Ah, he's already gone. Whoopsie! Alright. We are apparently out of gold here. So we need to start looking for it. Uh, in that case... Who's doing the search and where are we doing it? I don't know if anyone's doing any searching here, but let's tune this to gold. Can you connect this to Sky Mine and have the search go automatically? Again, probably not, but... Maybe another one of those things would be cool if you could. Nope. Oh... But I can... Oh, I'm connected. I'm connected to the turret on his head. Fantastic. No, oh, wait, I want to see. Yeah, I'm connected to the turret on his head. Disconnect, please. You can't connect to Diddly directly. He's his own thing. Makes sense. All right, let's go pay for our mistake. I'm not looking at the actual map screen or the dangers on the map before we jump right in. No, oh, it's just some Alliance of the Fearful Club. They're probably like, what the frickin' frick just fricked happened here? Yeah, go eat the tall grass, quickly! Now get him out of here, dude. Omnibot is... No! Damn it, he tried operating while he was... Frick. Ah, well. You know what, we're gonna send them back up anyway when uh, Dirk's back. Dirk, if you could do me a favor and not let them... Uh... Destroy the heavy cargo shuttle, because that's kind of necessary. Nice shooting there, though. I thought I'd expect any less from Dirk Whipple. Dude, he's so happy right now. Thankfully, the cargo shuttle is pretty damn strong. On his sledgehammers down. So far, Dirk's okay. Can you... Can you shoot at the guys coming toward you, though? Especially since this thing has really good accuracy at short range. Yeah. There we go. See, that's all you needed. Shuttle's fine. All right, we're going to deconstruct all the doors, then we're going to mine all the plasteel. Then we're going to go ahead and consider this all a stockpile zone, so we can bring back whatever we want. Dirk, get to work. And obviously the first thing he does is he's like, I'm going to mine all the plasteel. There it goes. 76... Purdue. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Then we'll see what's in these areas here. Um, probably will not be bringing Honest Sledgehammer back. Good shooting skill. Honestly, his traits are terrible. But uh, other than that, his skills are pretty good. I think I have no use for this meat sack, though. I mean, come on, I've evolved beyond the need for flesh in general. Dirk has never had a need for the flesh, so why would he care? I think we're just good. 
I think we're good to go. Bada bing, bada bang. Bada boom, bada doom. Two more to go. Easy rares. And not much in the way of ruins around here, so there's not too much else to check. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we're not seeing, uh, I mean, a Jade Club? Sure. Could be nice. All right, Dirk, load up. Yeah, ignore that guy. Uh, bring Pemmican, bring the Smoke Leaf Joints, bring all the Plasteel, which will fit, so that's wonderful. And then bring, bring... Oh, you can't grab the Jade Club? All right, whatever. Just bring that stuff. <laughs> the pemmican and the plasteel are the good things, so... You load those up, we'll be fine. I think she's got a good deal of pemmican from this, too. Holy crap. Yes. 408 pemmican is... Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Plasteel time. Give me all of this delicious, beautiful plasteel. Throw it on my back and then throw it in the shuttle. Dude, just carry 750 plasteel like it ain't no thing. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the Jade Club. Alright, get in. Come back to Fort Django. Call that. A success story. Try to land right there. We know you won't do it successfully, but uh, you will try. And for that, I guess we'll have to pretend to appreciate it. All right. We don't have them all done yet, but we can hold up to 3,400 skill points. Which could theoretically give us, you know, several extra skills. In fact, if we want to say it more definitively right now we have four extra skills we could give out so boom i have 19 shooting skill and 13 melee skill on primary fet very very nice all right with dirk dwipple on his way back home that is going to be it for this episode of that please rim world 1.0 if you enjoyed it make sure to let me know by giving it a like if you haven't already feel free to subscribe more because then you won't stop coming till next time thank you again for watching this episode of rim world my name is Thet, and i will see you in the next video.